Hello, freak bitches. Uh, shit from him. But Cosby, I don't know, that was a, that was a surprise, yeah. Was it, though? Did you, did you ever hear the rumors? No. See, I did. In show business circles, because uh, briefly I lived in the actor's world, right, mm. when I was on news radio, and I would hear it. Yeah. I would hear it back then that he would drug people. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you would hear it. Yeah. Wow. It was like one of those weird rumors that would go around. Bill Cosby drugs people. Wow, yeah. dude. Dude, it was going on forever. That's why Hannibal nice. talked about it. When Hannibal talked about it on stage, and then it all blew up, which is kind of crazy if you yeah. know Hannibal. You know, it's, he just happened to be talking about it. And then someone happened to be filming it, and then the rest of the world was like, is that true? Is that true? Because Bill Cosby is always telling people to not swear. Tell, especially, like, he was yeah. big on telling young black comedians not to swear, not to talk about sex. And he's like, he goes, Bill Cosby always telling that. Well, he's talking about raping people. And everybody's like, what? Yeah, is what did he? he say? Raping? <laughs> Wait, what? What? But that was like the rumor was always around. Yeah, oh, that's, I didn't. I I had heard some creepy, a little creepiness, that, but I didn't know. But it was that extent. When I someone, did not know. when someone does something like that to people, like that's one of the like, that's one of the creepiest fucking things a human can do to another human. Yeah. And the idea that this guy who was America's father. Right. In a lot of ways. He was our black dad. You know, he was the moral authority. He, he was, was the, your black dad. He was Mr. Huxtable. Yeah. You know, and then the fact that that guy, someone described him as the biggest serial rapist in the history of America. Like that really might be the case, because if he really did drug all these people that he said he did, like how many people have raped more? He might be number one, which is crazy. Insane to it's think. It's crazy. And the whole time, like, they're hip and the hop and the, 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 the nonsense. Footing. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the darkest motherfucker ever. Darkest. Dark. Just drugging them, watching them plas. That's Ooh. fucking. Uh, and he's got kids. I know. Which That's is even more fucked up. The crazy part when he's you have children. He's drugging someone else's baby and sticking mm-hmm. his dick in them while they're unconscious. It's so evil. It's evil. Now, what about Harvey? Weinstein. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. And Let's, he's one everyone knew about too, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. That's the, um, that's like, that's the cliche, right? The disgusting boss of the studio that wants you to suck his dick <laughs> in order to get a role. I know. Right? Right? That's funny because you do think like, well, isn't that kind of why you become like a show business executive like right. to get chicks? Not to rape chicks. Sexual assault is always right. off the table. But but did he, did yeah. he rape them or did... Now it's coming out that there's there's rape. I, t- last I checked today, uh, I know he's not, and he is not a looker. Like he's definitely. He looks not like cute. the type of guy that would be the type of guy he is. Yeah. Which is what's fucked up. Oh, he's so Suicide nasty. threat prompts police response. Whoa. Oh, we're there, huh? <clears throat> Got into a fight with his daughter this morning, and they had to. She called the nine one one. Damn. Because he was going to kill himself? I don't, something, I don't know. Well, he must be so overwhelmed with guilt and fear and remorse yeah. and just self hatred. And, you know, he sounds like an addict. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And that he's also a, probably a power addict. You know, like he's this guy who's like this gluttonous man. Like, if you look at his physical self, right? His face is overflowing on his skin. His collar and he's just gluttonous, like more food. Where's the coke? Pussy, oh, no. pussy money. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's yes. like there, there's this gluttonous existence. Yeah. It's not like a measured, thought out, contemplative, yeah. introspective existence where he's just trying to enjoy his time here. Like, wow, how lucky I am that I get to do this and make these amazing no. movies. You guys are all great. Like, that's what I expect from like Steven Spielberg. Right. I expect Steven Spielberg to be like this really like introspective thoughtful guy who's right. just enjoying the process of making amazing movies. Right. But this he's guy. but he's a creative thing. Harvey's an executive guy, right? Mm-hmm. He's the guy, the money guy behind everything and I coke and caviar and suck my dick. You know like <laughs> <laughs> It is so nasty. It's so gross. But okay now on the other hand on the other hand, mm. I was like, you know, Hollywood is such a labyrinth in terms of like getting shit done and getting deals closed and how this does yeah. this happen. It would kind of be nice to be like, you want a Netflix special? Just go fucking suck that guy's dick. <laughs> and then I could be like, oh, that's all I have to do is suck that guy's? Yeah, come over here, you nasty fuck. And then <laughs> there's your special. <laughs> right? Way easier. Would you have to have a conversation with Tommy? Listen, Tommy. Yeah. This is not sex. Yeah, this is this is this is a, this is a job. Yeah. It's work. Right. 
And then it's like cut and dry and it's an exchange. You right. know, I, I was in law school for two weeks and I remember two weeks, two weeks and I dropped out uh, <laughs> in contract law. It's an exchange of something for something else. Right. Seems fucking pretty straightforward. Well, like, that's yeah. what prostitution is, right? Yeah. Which is one of the weirdest things that massage is legal, but prostitution isn't. Isn't that something? It is. It is odd because we do not like genital pleasure. We no. don't like genital pleasure for cash. Like genital pleasure has to be for love. It has to be love. <laughs> right. And it has to be given free. It's yeah. the only thing in civilization that we require to be given away for free. Everything else you can exchange money for. It's you so can interesting. Exchange you can... money for food, right? It's not prostitution if someone cooks for you, right? right? That's normal. It's a total normal right. thing. But it's a very intimate thing. Feeding someone. Yes, right? yes, of course. You it's can love. go to a, a hair salon, they'll wash your head. Yep. They give you a head massage. It's so best. good. That's one thing I miss about having hair. <laughs> I rub my head. Uh, uh, it's the best right? feeling in the world. Like a head massage. Uh, <laughs> uh, or a foot massage. People love foot massages. I, know. I bet there's people out there that like foot massages more than they like head. Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Right? But then you put a camera uh, in front of two people fucking. It's and, totally legal. And now it's legal. You can pay them. So what's... We're retarded. Yeah, that makes no sense. We're babies. Yeah. We're grown-up babies. But maybe because you can commodify that, and that's a capitalistic thing, maybe well, it's more commodifiable nah. as, a, as a product. Is Honestly, that I think there's two two factors. One is the tax factor. It's very difficult to get taxes Ooh. from people that are prostitutes. Yeah. Right? It's like, no, 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 where's that money going? Yeah. Give, us, give us our cut. Yeah. And then the other thing is the um, sex trafficking sex slavery yeah. aspect like <laughs> protecting people that are sex traffickers because like you know you could have someone that was sold into sex slavery or you know in some way bartered their you know trip to america and had some sort of a sex slave deal that's where it gets fucked up but there's been arguments that what makes that exist in the first place is that prostitution is illegal here yes. and if prostitution was legal it would be that stuff would all go away, much like the argument is with illegal drugs. Like if you made marijuana legal, you wouldn't have as much of the Mexican drug, you know, illegal trade, which you are seeing. You know, you are seeing in, in America. Of course, it's retarded. And uh, wait, but wait, but with Harvey, he was the guy that would give girls the shoulder rubs. He would tell them to massage him. Uh, oh, he. He would oh. massage them. They would massage him. He would do according to these girls. Shoulder I don't know if it's true, but he would. He'd be the guy that be. Like, I'll be right back. And he comes back in a bathrobe. He's the bathrobe guy. That's so fucked but up. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I, I don't mean to make light of anybody's sexual assault or whatever it was, or harassment. But oh, they're working on the roof again. Damn. Wonderful. Yeah. But but what I but here's the thing. How many women said yes? That's, Probably a fuckload. Like yes. that was his move. What we're seeing is his missed pitches. Right. Right. He hit right. a lot of fucking triples and home runs, knocked a lot of balls out of the park, but yep. occasionally he, he was whiffing. Occasionally <laughs> he was like, I got this one in the back, boys. And she's like, fuck off, you pig. And he's like, oh, come on, just come back to my room. No, no, no. It's like, shit. That one, I know. What happened, Harvey? Oh, it just was, <laughs> wasn't connecting. I wasn't connecting. But listen, I got all this. There's a girl who wants to be in the next fucking this movie and it, Avatar 16. And, right. Rah, rah, rah. And she's willing to do the thing to yeah. get the part. And that's kind of, okay, yeah, then, then suck that guy's dick and get the part and get your money and get on with it. How many girls read the story when it broke and could still taste the asparagus <laughs> caviar uh, flavored cum? Just the cocaine uh, and uh, uh, the vodka in his loads. Just, uh, 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 uh. I bet he has like a phlegmy like moan when he comes. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that has the, the apnea, white spittle in the corners of his uh, mouth yeah. when he talks to you. It's like he's trying to hit on you. He's got a little yeah. b white yes. spit bubble yeah. on his lip. Ugh. He's nasty. He's nasty. He's nasty. But that's a gluttonous man. Yeah, right? he's out of control. It's not attractive. It's definitely not. Oh, oh, my favorite, too, is that he would jerk off into, did you hear this? That he, into plants, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so fucking weird. Like, well, he's green. He wants him to exist <laughs> off of his loads. But that's such a desperate thing. Like, come over. Come here. Can I, can I have it? No? Okay, stay here then. Let me, you know, like, it's so. Mm. Maybe he was hoping they would just dive on the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Save a soldier. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I, and also, like, I was thinking too, like, I've, I've seen so many dudes jerking off in public, like homeless mm. guys. Yeah. Yeah. I never got anything for it. Mm -mm. Is it, you know? 
Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. Look, just the, Come this, on. The, here's the thing about male sex versus female sex, right? Is the accepting part of female sex versus the giving, like trying to give, take this, take it. Yeah. I'm try- and the other thing is that men <laughs> take it literally yeah. are constantly building right. cum. Yeah. Like while you're yeah. alive, yeah. your cum is backing up. Yeah. So if you're if you're not like I, I used to have the bit in my act that was it was really based on advice that I used to give friends when they're like, oh, I don't know, my girl wants to get married. This, like, Listen to me. Jerk off first and then think about it. Mm. Like if you're if you're having a hard time with someone and you're, you don't know what to do and you're going to see them jerk <laughs> off first and then see them and then you'll be able to deal with them without any sexual lust you mm. won't be make it i see me as a per, as a young man this is a real issue with me when i was in my 20s because i was so horny mm. it was like i was a drug addict so i'd be like i would be like m- making agreements with myself yeah she's annoying but she's gonna let me have sex with her so listen just let's just change our behavior <laughs> and mold to what she likes and then you'll get to fuck her because that's what you need like otherwise you just be beaten off but i remember one time I was supposed to go out with this girl, and she was just so preposterously annoying. It was so frustrating. Mm -hmm. She just was always negative. And before we went out, before I went to go get her, I jerked off. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there. I was going, what am I doing? Like, I don't even enjoy her company. Like, she's not compatible with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't... If you can... If you just like someone as a person, and you like having sex with them, that's a relationship. Yes. But if you only like having sex with them, you have some sort of a weird barter deal. And that's a lot of men. A lot of yeah, men yeah, get yeah, in, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of women probably too, but I can only speak for men. Like men get involved in these relationships where you're really just in a relationship so that you have a continuous supply of sex. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're young and stupid. When you're 20 years old, you're basically a monkey. You know, you're, you're just like a little ape person just trying to fuck and you're just trying to well, I love her She's really cool. And why do you love her because she smells good because her tits feel good in your mouth Like what what is really going on? Here? Right. Like do you actually enjoy her company as a human being outside of sex? Mm, doesn't matter, right? Most of the time you don't and so if you just jerk off first and then hang out with someone and you actually like them mm-hmm. like then you have a real relationship like oh I really like you I like you yeah you clear out the the pipes yeah. right you clear out the testosterone and now yeah. you can just uh, think clearly yeah it's super smart but I think I mean I'm just guessing mm. I've never been a, a media mogul but I would imagine there's a bunch of factors <laughs> going on first of all there's a bunch of people that are constantly kissing his ass yeah. and rubbing us like I saw a picture of him with Renee Zellweger and Renee Zellweger was like cuddling up with him and she had her hand on him and he had his arm on her and there was like some other celebrity <laughs> to his right and they were like yuck yuck yucking it up but he was like pawing her he had a hold of her and I would imagine that there's all these people that recognize that he's this like epicenter of power and success and you want Harvey Weinstein of Miramax to love you Mm -hmm. and you would get close to him and you have a couple of drinks and you're doing coke together yeah look at that she's got her hand on his leg oh yeah dude and he's got Russell Crowe to his right and Renee Zellweger to his left and she's smiling they're probably (laughs) hammered and Everyone's on Xanax. Next thing you know, he's got his dick in her butt. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. And she's I'm like, just imagining that Bridget happened. Jones, diary yeah. number two. Um, number six. Great. Yeah. Fine with me. I don't know if that really happened. No, I don't but either. My point is that it's not just that he was predatory, it right. was also that he lived. I'm just guessing, okay? I'm not a, an apologist, folks, but I would imagine that he lived in this world where he was like royalty. He was essentially like the king of this empire, right? So he had all these employees. It was one of the articles that I read today, I think it was from The Telegraph, where this guy was saying that um, he was at a party, or one of his friends was at a party, and uh, they were having a conversation with uh, this girl who worked for Harvey. And Harvey just said her name from across the room and her face went pale, Mm. and she immediately just ran away from him to run to her like didn't say excuse me i'll be right back just ran out of fear who knows that is obviously it it could be interpretation after the fact right it could be exaggeration of what the actual circumstances were to fit a narrative but you got to imagine that this guy is just multi multi multi-millionaire just orgiastic gluttonous job of the hut motherfucker 
just getting his dick sucked and just uh, we're gonna be the biggest the biggest ever the <laughs> big- <laughs> and then there's also these girls that he can't get and he's like close to them close to them and pretty that's close, that's pretty close. The, the anger right hey, listen christina yeah. i think you're the one that you've got yeah. his hand on you listen i think you're one of the best one right, of the best right, right. come into my room let's talk about this yeah. i've got a proposal i've got a yeah. proposal you come up to his room and he's got a bathrobe on you're like what <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just give me a massage. My, my neck is tense. My neck is tense. <laughs> you like Coke? What about so caviar? What about Coke and caviar? You ever have Coke and caviar together? That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> that is, he is unbelievably. Him, and I have to say, and I know Hugh Hefner was a big mogul and he did a lot of cool shit. Not for me, that would be a tough gig too. Like Ooh. living in the mansion and being one of the girls, like, mm. come over for movie night, you know, and he's in his pajamas. And you know that he butt sexed them because he didn't want to get anyone pregnant. So, that's like, true? that's what I read. And what is it? Holly Holly Madison wrote, bu- uh, wrote a book. Is that her fucking name? Yeah. Uh, Dolly Madison's the pastry. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck is He, he butt sexed uh, them so was, that they didn't have to worry about. Birth control. That's correct. And then there's a lot mm. of like he he would make the girls make out in front of him, mm. and then he would masturbate too. It's also, kind of I think is a way of avoiding possible pregnancies. Wow. And so he uh, probably developed a strategy over years of like ducking pregnancies. <laughs> wow. That's that's a weird thing too, right? To like be putting yourself out there as this person with a lot of money who really likes young girls, and the young girls go, "All I have to do is catch one load." That's all One you have load. to do at the I've, right time. I've heard stories about athletes that girls put holes in the condoms or the girl, sure. girls take the condoms out of the trash and squirt them into their pussy. Oh. <laughs> Imagine, how was I born, mommy? You were born. <laughs> well, it's well, a lovely story. Your mommy, your mommy took a condom. <laughs> Like uh, one of them pastry <laughs> bags and squirted that fucker in there. <laughs> well, your mother fished a filthy condom out of the trash. Well, I, I threw That's it in the crazy. toilet. I pretended to throw it in the toilet. But I had one saved in my mouth. Ugh. I spit that one in the toilet. And that's why you're alive. 